Welcome to the world of I Create Lines, human design, personal one-on-one -on -one readings, coaching and guidance, human design audio courses for your pace of learning, one-on-one -on -one accountability, support, talk therapy and holding space sessions. Fascia Maneuvers, Emotional Release, One-on-One, -on -one Coaching and Guidance. Free daily live movement classes on the Insight Timer app. Breathwork, Fascia Maneuvers, Lymph Work and Qigong. Always wanted hands-on treatment. Can't travel? I can come to you anywhere in the world. Contact for more information. Weekly Q&A sessions on the Insight Timer app. Free content, instructional ebooks, and videos. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share. iCreateLines.com Peace, health, and abundance. What are your thoughts on giving to others while keeping your own energy balanced and protected? Um, there needs to be very clear communication between every single person. What are your needs and what are their needs? Can you meet those needs? And can they meet your needs? Is it reciprocal? Anything that's not communicated is gonna look for ways to get fulfilled in covert ways in manipulation in 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 some way or other so how to keep your energy balanced and protected by clear communication by demanding clarity from people that you interact with what are you doing what am i doing what is our common goal what are we doing today? How long are we going to do it? Am I enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Do I have energy for this? Do you have energy for this? And respecting that and respecting, oh, respecting your own energy. So you can always give to others if you feel like giving to others. If you feel required to give to others, that's guilt. That's no bueno. If you feel shame, that's no bueno. You give if you want to give. And you take when others want to give. Demanding energy, no bueno. And giving over your capacity, no bueno. You give how much you want to give until you feel, okay, this is not fine anymore. I just need to rest now. And the other person as well. And when the other person says, okay, that's my cap, that's their cap. And then you get also your own authority to say, this is my cap. But this is what we need to learn because we've been all born. We're all born into a par parasitic system where all we've ever learned is trauma bonds. How to get energy from others since we were children through guilt, shame, um, fear, um, jealousy, all these things, conditioned love. If so, then so, because it's survival based because most of us grew up with emotionally immature parents. And then these are coping mechanisms. So giving others, giving to others, especially coming from me as a projector, it needs to be very clean. It needs to be very clean, very clearly communicated. And then you don't get anything. Then you don't get resentment, guilt, bitterness, frustration, all the signatures of all the types. So 
you know your cap if you don't know your cap you are probably in stress mode so then there's that's that's another thing like we need to accept our own boundaries and other people's boundaries if if we don't honor our cap we will never be able to accept other people's caps so let's say let's say I have this situation almost every time when I'm home in Croatia with my mom. If I tell my mom, um, like, uh, mom, I just want to go into my room. I have no more energy for this. We've been talking for two hours. It's just, it's, it's, this is my, this is my, like, this is my cap. This is what I can tolerate. It doesn't matter who's in front of me. Oh. Her response is going to be, "Oh, who asks me where my cap is?" And then she doesn't she doesn't let me go. Because who am I to tell anyone I'm tired, I have to go now? Because she doesn't allow herself to say I'm tired, I have to go now. Because her whole life she's been cooking two hours more than she wants she's been cleaning seven hours more than she wants and then so if I tell her mom I'm tired can I go now she will flip out and she will go into the mode of who whoever asked me if I was tired look at this guy and his privileged time and and well, taking care of his body look at this elite little bastard <laughs> And I'm like, what, 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 like how? P yes, please, mom, if you feel you need to go when we're talking, please go. Because then I know you'll be happy and we'll be able to talk tomorrow again. And it's survival. It's, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's the tendency to burn out. We don't know our, our uh, caps. We don't know how much we are actually able to tolerate because we all live in stress mode most of the time so then we take it personally that's my mom as well yeah my son tells me i'm lucky he 